Hello and welcome to the Stock Planner channel. The Stock Planner channel is about swing trading. We're trying to capture the major swings of a trade and make some money. If you cut that major swing, you would have made some money. This is the zigzag indicator. It's perfect, but it looks to the future. Right here, it knew what it was doing it was going down, but now we have a green bar going up and now the zigzag doesn't know what it's doing at the moment. Since the zigzag looks to the future to make itself perfect, you can only use it to visualize. And I use it to go ahead and find other indicators that work well with this particular stock. And this is the MACD and it would have predicted that run up pretty well. This is stochastic RSI which when it blooms low the the 20 and comes back around right here that it that's a buy single and this is the RSI would come below the 30 and comes back around and that would have predicted when all three of these indicators occur within three or four days of each other we're using the daily time frame here that's when I like to take a trade zooming out a little bit and making it more pronounced we can see that we have an MACD indicator going up the stochastics below the 20 and back around stochastic RSI and that's pointing up and we have this RSI coming back around as well coming past the 30 this is RSI 4 all three indicators again are occurring within three or four days of each other and it's singling a trade a trade in AIG which is a insurance and financial stock what's it look like to you is this going up or down let's investigate this stock a little further before we go and do that the stock planner channel is an educational channel we learn from each other but the stock planner channel is not a singles channel or advisor do your own due diligence and besides i'm not all hepped up about aig anyway but i do think it's ready to go up for a little while let's take a look well we're trying to ask the question is aig a good stock to buy right now is it something we can take an action on? AIG is a very powerful insurance and financial company. It's founded in 1919. It's a New York based company making its money in finance and insurance. And this company should do well in inflation and recession. Some people feel hard times are ahead. This company has various different product lines for com commercial and for personal use it has lines of credit financing property financing property insurance life insurance all over the world including china annuities as i said it, it operates through its general insurance its life and retirement plans and its legacy portfolio which is basically all the things they've done in the past and responsible for and since 2017 AIG has made a number of acquisitions to improve its insurance business and its reputation a lot of people have not forgotten the situation in 2005 where they misreported and did some accounting errors that caused them to have a severe fine and loss of reputation they had to be bailed out let's take a closer look at this company's fundamentals and see where we're going with this using Finvis it's free we look at AIG and we see it's generally an uptrend until around June. And now we've taken a little little dive. Green bar just recently. This company will be profitable in the future. It's not showing a PE currently. That's not the, not so hot. Earnings are probably mid August. It does have a buy recommendation and it is optional and shortable. And the target price is 54. 54. I like that. I think because it's trading at 46. 54 coming coming back up to its previous high all-time high the last upgrade was in february no news since then investors should pay attention to decreased activity in the world's largest hedge funds lately well that's interesting less activity in hedge funds is not so hot looking at tip ranks it's got a target price of 53.60 with 10 analysts covering it a high of 60 that's all good underperform that's not good for a buy there's a hedge fund activity stuff that is a concern about this hedge fund activity put that in your notepad now remember we're swing traders we're primarily concerned with technical aspects of it but we have to be aware of the fundamental aspects of it 
and less hedge fund activity is a fundamental. In 2020, the P.E. ratio range went below zero, which means not profitable. There is the problem. Back on track for 2021. We'll see it earnings. Looking at Simply Wall Street, this is a snowflake. And you want it to be solid, solid green, not solid this. It's trading below its estimate of fair value. Earnings are forecast to grow 14% this year. But here's the bad things. Interest payments are not fully covered by, by its earnings. Dividend is not well covered by the earnings. It's significant insight. There it is again. Insider selling. These are three similar companies and they're a little more greenish. And none of these three are on my watch list. Simply Wall Street calculates its fair value to be $78. Currently trading at 46 so it's an undervalued stock by 40%. And here's your future growth line. AIG's revenue is forecast to grow slower than the U.S. market. This company will grow slower than the rest of the market. Here's the market for the future. Here's the company and the industry. Do a little better than the industry. And it's just here better than the industry. Earnings is very comparable to the market. But revenue is slower. AIG is forecast to become profitable over the next three years. Like I said... I'm not all hot and bothered with this company, but the technicals are indicating a buy. And swing trading is 75% technicals. Now let's assume that we have a $5,000 small account with $5,000 margin. That makes $10,000. And we're investing about $1,000 on any trade that we make. Going with a buy and hold strategy... AIG is currently trading at 46 and you could buy with $1,000, 21 shares. Using the fair value figure that we got from Simply Wall Street, we plug it in there and we get this amount. And so buy and hold, taking $1,000 today and holding for one year for a losing company, company that's losing money, you're going to get $676. I'm not believing that figure. Tip rank says it's 53. Let's plug that one in and see what we get. There you get 130. 130 versus 676. 130 versus 676. These are, these numbers are produced by analysts, analysts, hopes and aspirations, predictions. One analyst is different than the other. We're not buying holes. So we don't care what this is. We are a swing trader and we're using technical indicators to predict. So when the RSI is pointing up, the stochastic RSI and the MACD are all indicating it's up within about four days of each other, we have a buy single. I can manually draw these in or I can use an algorithm which I've written to give me these signals. Let's go ahead and back test it. Using OmniBroker, we have the same chart of AIG, the same MACD indicator, zero lag, the same stochastic RSI, and here's my settings, and the same RSI, and here's my setting, RSI 4. We have a signal right now. This is why I'm doing this video. Let's see what the back test results were, were using $10,000, only taking long trade because in this case we we're, we're have a long bias. We have a 10% stop loss because sometimes I'll use options. I have my profit target, which oftentimes I use by, but my percent. But I have it disabled so that I'm not taking profit early and I'm waiting and will close the trade either if it 18 bars, 18 days in the trade because I use options or the stop loss is hit. In other words, I'm trying to see once I get a single, will it stay true? for 18 days run the back test it's that quick there's the number of bars 18 it closes out the next day and this is my cumulated profit so i must have had a loss there somewhere let's take a look back here right here there's two losses and that occurred this may not be a loss here because it takes its conclusion based on the current last day which was the ninth here is it's, it's yesterday so it's this 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 last trade might not be closed down let's see yeah it's got the number of bars is not 19 it's 12. this has got a ways to go this might not be a loser but currently it's losing 32 bucks 
and we count it as a loser. Looking at our initial capital, which is 10,000 bucks, we made $109 and our risk adjusted because we're not in the trade at the whole one year. We're only in it and out of it. So our risk adjusted percentage will be much higher than the annual rate where you do a buy and hold and have your money tied up for the whole year. We had four winners out of six trades. And every time we placed a trade, we made 20 bucks or 18 bucks. And we had two losers, four winners, two losers. Plugging that stuff in our spreadsheet, we have a win rate of 66%. That's average. Risk adjusted APR is 23. Now remember, if we take the simply Wall Street, we'd have much higher APR here in the net. But the advantage here, okay, the advantage here is you don't have the money, your money tied up for a whole year. Your one thousand dollars here. Our money is tied in over nine trade, uh, six trades, which is half a year. There's twenty two days in a trading month, and there are eighteen. We have ours set at eighteen, nineteen days, so it's just virtually a month. So six m months we are tied up in a trade unless we use a five percent profit target or some other profit target, two percent, three percent. That's why I like to, s to see if if. Once I get a single, it stays true for 19 days. And it did stay true for four of those six trades. Once I get a single, I got six of them for the last year. And four of them stayed true for the full 19 days. And two of them didn't. And if they stay true to me, I can do a lot. I can take a profit early and maybe have more winners. Maybe these would have been winners if I had taken a profit at 2%. It's my option. Your option. Buy and hold. Or swing simply Wall Street or swing who do you believe or do you trust your strategy that you've developed and back tested drawing Fibonacci do you think it's coming down here and some of our fundamental analysis has not been too optimistic is it coming down in price or is it going to retrace back to its at least as 50% which is right here which is 4921 coming down here we're going up there. My indicators, which might be different from yours, are saying it's going up. And I've learned to trust my indicators. But simply Wall Street says this is not a great stop. It's got some red red lines here, even though it's trading at below its fair mark, below its for, fair value. I think it's going to, to retrace back to its 50%. And I think it's going to do it in the next three to four weeks. I may put an option play in. I may buy the stock. My singles have indicated that it is a buy. And I post my buy recommendations from my algorithm that I'm going to take and look at and do my due diligence against out on my Discord chat, which is Stock Planner. And that's a couple of days ago. And I put some of my trades out there. It's just indicating different buys and sells. Please check that out. It's free. I'm not selling anything. Discord chat. My technical indicators indicate that AIG is a buy. Remember, you can't use zigzag, but right now the zigzag doesn't know what it's doing. It was going down, and now that the zigzag stopped knowing what it's doing, it looks like it's going up. What do you think? Please leave your thoughts in the comments below, but at least I hope you put it on your watch list, AIG. Not a profitable company. I'm not hot on it, but it looks like it is coming back. And... This stock is trading at its support, or pass support. That's all I have for you. Ride your own horse. Do your own due diligence. Be tall in the saddle. Like and subscribe this video. Don't listen to anybody else's advice. Stay the course. Ride your own horse. Catch you on the flip. Happy trading.